So we'll go into ECW. Yeah, man. We'll uh, we'll we'll break here and then we'll start doing the ECW. So ECW, one hour show inside the ring. With your host Mike and Ray. Yes, sir. The show ends, uh, opens up with Shelton Benjamin that defeated Christian. Uh, Kozlov comes out and kind of distracts Christian a little bit. Right. Kozlov, I don't like the way that they're treating him. What do you mean? Well, I think they're giving him a lot. Really? Of opportunities. Oh well, yeah. They're giving no him doubt. a lot for what he for what he can do. Yeah, I think he's getting a lot of good treatment. Really good I, treatment? I'd say good treatment. I say he's been given a lot of opportunities, but he's blowing it. He's those videos that they're putting up about him are up every week. Him training. He comes out on every main event, or not a main event, but he comes on every main storyline. Well, I tell you what, look. he's in right there, face to face with every champion every time. They need to instead of having him lift the kettlebells and and doing all that MMA training, he needs to run because in the main event mm-hmm. he was so slow. I mean, it was well. Horrible. He's a powerhouse. I can see that he was slow. It, it, He's very. He's still green. That's the problem. It's just, I like him. Well, we're but getting, the problem is, it's just. He, I see your point. You got to train him a little more. He's got to get a little more conditioned. Yeah. Well, I mean, he's a slow. Uh, that's but the only I problem. Think he's I have. getting a lot of good treatment in their ECW. But he is now looking more like Nikolai Volkov because he's got. He's coming out with a red gi on. I like it though. All red. I like it. I like his old gimmick coming I like out what just doing with, him. with the white trunks. With his chin down low, looking at you with the big old caveman eyebrows. I liked his first gimmick when he first came out. Yeah, the guy was a machine. The guy he had is a little machine. hat. He had the little army um, tri- uh, triton. What do you call it? The army video that he had of the soldiers. Yeah, that well, was good. Well, now he's looking more like Nikolai Volkov. Yeah, and I, I really don't like it. And Shelton Benjamin beats Christian. It's good, man. With the pay dirt. It's good. We've, been, we've was, been saying. He's been in the doghouse for a very long time. And it looks like he's not going to be there for long. Yeah. Because Shelton Benjamin, I tell you what, he looked great. I'm not taking anything away from Christian. Yeah. Christian was great, too. That match was the best match of Raw. I mean, not, I'm sorry, excuse me, on ECW. It was yeah. the best match of ECW, yeah. which was Shelton Benjamin and Christian. That should have been the main event. Yeah. But it opened up Raw, and it set a tone. I can't complain. Ezekiel da- Jackson is backstage with Gregory Helms. Right. Well, uh, Gregory a, Helms is back. He's back, yeah. Good. But ECW. he's doing that gimmick again where he is Clark Kent, interviewer, Superman, saving somebody in the backstage. Eh, it's stupid, but at the same time it works. So you have Gregory Helms as a reporter, rec- backstage interview. Yeah. He doesn't have the hat and the glasses like he had last time. Yeah. And... A couple of weeks ago, he was the hurricane, mm-hmm. and he saved somebody from falling off a ladder. It's fine. I mean, wow. you know, I've been saying this for a while. ECW has got to be a gimmick show. You got to test your product. You got to see what characters work and don't work, and then you can move them on to a bigger show. Yeah. And I think this is a perfect opportunity to see if the hurricane can still work like it did in the past, because when he was that heel character, it didn't work. I know a lot of hardcore wrestling fans loved it. But it didn't grab any attention. And he was a champion for a very long time, and no one cared. Yeah. So, next match was Yoshi Tatsu defeated Paul Burchill with think Katie about that Lee. Guy? Tatsu? Yeah. You know what? You I think, think, think he's got a, you think he's got a lot of potential? He's got something. Something is definitely missing from him. Yeah. But he's got something. I don't know. I, I feel like there's. I like to see. I like missing. to see. Wink, wink. Iggy, here's an Iggy right here. Uh-huh. I like to see Tatsu and Funaki next week. Ooh, I like to see that. I think Funaki would bring the best out of him. I think so. And he can o- he can always teach him how to survive. Yeah, not being fired from the WWE every week. <laughs> yeah. Wear the WWE blue shirt. Yeah, <laughs> number one reporter. I just think that it was kind of hard for him to kind of shine when he came out with Shelton Benjamin. I think the styles were so mixed up. I like the mix, though. I thought it was a good idea. I thought it was a really good idea, but I thought it was, it was, um, 
I think it was too, a little too overwhelming for him to kind of come out as a debut like that. I don't think he he um, he lived up to that moment. I don't know. You know what I mean? I saw a lot of potential in him, and it just when he came out against Shelton Benjamin, I saw a lot of holes too. You know, it's early too. You know, it is real early. But I see that something can happen with this. Something dude. is there. Something is there. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. Something is there. Is just we're not seeing it yet. Yeah. So, but something is really missing from Kata Lee, which is Paul Birchall's sister. Oh. Now, uh, last what was it? Yesterday, you know, mm-hmm. ECW. I didn't know. I mean, at first I had to stop because I thought Ariel was back. Oh yeah, she kind of looked like it. I thought Ariel oh, was makeup. back. Yes. Yeah. But you know what? You know what I think it's what's missing about her is her wrestling ability is pretty good. Yeah, she can go. That last match she had last week was good. But the problem is when she's trying to sell something, like when she yells and stuff, mm-hmm. it seems too. Um, it seems funny. Well, you know what? With the problem with her. Katie Lee, is that she's a little long in the tooth. You know, she's not all that pretty. Yeah. You know, she's not a a Molina. Yeah, she's not a Beth Phoenix. She's not a Mickey James. She's not definitely not a Maurice. Mm-mm. You know, and I, you know, it, it's just, it's sad that you know their in ring performance outshines everything else. Mm-hmm. But if you don't got the looks, you're not going to survive. I'm telling you, and I think that's wrong. It is wrong. Look at Chavo. Yeah, I know. That's what my point is. But Katie, Lee, but you know, she can go. You know I mean, what? I don't mind her. She's way, you know what? I just don't understand her character. What is she supposed to be? I don't know what she... Uh, you know what? She, her character was so You kind of remember her coming off a pirate thing. Ever since she started with the WD. I mean, it, it, they kind of pushed the envelope a little bit. You know, yeah. maybe maybe having some kind of incest, brother and sister kind of type yeah. theme. And then um, it was just a brother and sister. They dropped that real quick. Yeah. And then... Paul Burchill was gone. Katie Lee was, you know, out there. You know, and, and don't get me wrong. I think Katie Lee is pretty, mm-hmm. but all that makeup just, ooh. Yeah. The we're, goth we're look. HD, so we don't know what's really behind all that makeup. The goth look doesn't work. Yeah, I don't, I mean, I don't feel it. The, they have to drop the, you know, give her another gimmick. Just the goth doesn't really make her look that much attractive. She's not really goth. She doesn't have that style. And I think that's the problem. Yeah, I think they're forcing, or maybe she's doing it. I don't know who's doing it. So I think, they're putting I, on something that she can't carry. I don't think it's so much the overthinkers in the back. Right. I think it's basically them telling her, hey, look, you need to come up with something, Yeah. and it's got to be good. If not, you're not going to last. Yeah, but see, that, that could be a problem, man. And I think this is like, this is her way of saying, okay, I'm just going to be out there and do something I've never ever done before, which is to try to portray a goth chick. Right. And I think that's what we're seeing. That's just my opinion. It could be right. I don't see I don't see any other reason. I don't I mean I'm lost with that character. And that's my point when I always keep saying bring back the little you know, the little videos again. Bring back something to introduce people. Because you're lost. I'm lost with this chick. Yeah, I think And what's she gonna is happen too. is you're gonna end up possibly losing uh, pretty good talent because yeah. they'll just drop her 